Wow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I can't tell you. Then it won't come true, right? Yeah. Okay. How many best language do you have? Lots. Yeah, I know. I'm greedy. I think it comes with age. <laughs> no, you know, I yeah. Just to be uh, happy and healthy, and yeah. Okay. Um, what's the biggest challenge of taking care of the kids? <sighs> biggest challenge, I think. You know, they're constantly keeping me on my toes. You know, I'm, they're probably my biggest teachers. I learn something new every day and, and I'm constantly, um, you know, uh, inspired and also just, yeah, they drive me crazy, you know, but I've never felt so much love in my life. I think it's challenging raising them, you know. Um, we try and, I try and be a good mother, but then of course some days I have pretty sh bad days and. Um, there's no rule book as to how to do it, um, you know, but just try, I guess. Okay, um, would you allow your children to go into the entertainment side, like, you know? Yeah, they need to pay for their school fees, they get help, get help for their education fund, you know? <laughs> no, I, I, I think, uh, you know, my son said to me, Mommy, I said, oh, would you like to do a shoot with me? And Ben said, oh, mommy, I think I'm happy just to wash the dishes at home and I'll, I'll do that. So he's happy to do the housework. He's not really, you know, into to wanting to have his picture taken and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But who knows, it might change you know, um, as he gets older. Um, whereas Sophia is, you know, she's always wanting to pose and she's like getting really girly girly and, you know, so we'll see. I'm never going to, I'm not going to say no to not letting them you know, if they're really interested in doing it, then I'll, I'll let them pursue it. But they must study and, and they have to finish school. Very important. You know. And um, what's your favorite Hong Kong dish? Food. Oh my God, so much. <laughs> one? Only one? Um, you can name some. I know what it is. You know, lah, because you, 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 you yeah, like. I know what it is. You want to tell everybody. <laughs> My steam, the Hong, uh, Hong Kong style steamed fish. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. And yeah. also the one. Oh, my wonton noodles, of course. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's my, yeah, the, I have to have my noodle fixed every time I come to Hong Kong. Um, it, uh, the other day I came with my suitcase, right, straight from the airport. I went to go and have my noodles. What if one day that your children tell you that, Mom, um, I need a girl or I need a boyfriend, what, what, what would, I mean, how are you going to... I don't know, because <laughs> I'm like, my, my son is like my little boyfriend now, and my daughter's like, that's like so far ahead, although it's not really, it's right, really it's going to happen quite soon. Um, today. How are you going to react to it? <laughs> my... <laughs> It was so funny today. The kids were saying, "Oh, uh, hey," he said, "I want to be a mother." They were looking through their family albums, and then and then Tintin said, "Yeah, I think I want to be a dad too." And then Ben said, "No, I don't. I don't want to kiss a girl." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, mm, "That's great. I don't need mommy." <laughs> um, I think I'll think about that when the time comes. You know, I think it's yeah. Already, there's so much that um, I'm dealing with. I'll call Chris and ask Chris. Chris, what should I do? <laughs> how do you, you how do you look at the um, modern industry now? I mean, like, compared to what you have before. I, mean. I think I mean it's a lot. It's so much has changed. I I came to Hong Kong many years ago, uh, you know, half of my life ago, twenty years ago. Um, and I came at a time when there was, I think Eurasian models were highly in demand. There was so much work. I was always working. I was always traveling. There was so many jobs. Um, and I think now, I think it's, you know, with digital media and, and the times have changed. Um, I think companies, clients are, are spending more money on their social media and their digital media. 
versus advertising like major massive campaigns. Um, so, you know, in that respect, it's changed a lot. Yeah. There's less commercials. There's less, you know, there's more. Everything is more like what's happening on your Instagram posting, and you know, clients will pay you to post certain time, very strategic. Um, yeah, it's changed a lot. So I was, I guess, quite lucky to come when I did. And, um, okay, this one you can answer or you don't, I'm going to have to answer that for you. <laughs> After being single for about a year and a half, and you know, something like that, um, would you ever have ever think about dating someone or seeing someone or, you know, to, I'm mean, looking forward to see someone. Okay, uh, I know of course, but I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about would you ever think of like going on dating? Um, yes, I think so, you know, and there's, you can that, okay. yeah, hopefully, you know, um, time will tell, I think it's really about timing and, and you know, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say no, my Mr. Wright is out there somewhere, <laughs> I might meet him when I walk out the door. <laughs> Twenty years ago, la, <laughs> yo. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, ready? Okay, so about twenty years ago, when I was fresh off the boat and I first landed in Hong Kong, I came to Calcaries. I was going to a few different agencies and um, and you know seeing which one I was going to sign up with and sign my life away with and and. Uh, <laughs> I came to Calcaries and I was, it was like a really hot day and I was sweating and I got lost and I came up and I was so stressed out and I was upset, I was homesick um, and I came up and they were so nice to me and they said, sit down, I have some water, would you like to eat? And I remember I had uh, Yutan Fan fish for noodles soup, it was like the best thing and I think I had a Dong Leng Cha as well. And then I just felt like, you know, they were so nice to me and they treated me so well. Like I wasn't like this money-making machine or like sign, sign, sign. It was like, you know, they cared about me and um, that was really important to me. And so I think from then I pretty much was really comfortable working with them. Everyone was so nice. Um, and 20 years later, here I am. <laughs> So I've just, they've really been like family to me and, um, you know, they've seen me as a teenager and I've been a bit of a nightmare to deal with sometimes, like yeah, crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the easiest person to deal with before, lots of drama, um, but they've, you know, we've, we've, we've grown up together, I've grown up with them and they've seen me uh, evolve from a teenager to with kids now um, so it's been a really special journey and I'm very grateful to have them love you guys very much <laughs> um, yeah so. hi I'm Danielle please follow our social media accounts thank you for the support <laughs>